Hello everyone, I'm Yarken and this is Day by Daylight. As usual at the beginning, you don't know what to expect. I got my toolbox, so let's disable some hooks. So, now I know it's Frederick. He is chasing someone, so let's take down another hook. And while I'm here, I can do the totem as well. Someone has been hooked, and if you know me, I gotta go and save him. Here you go, Jake buddy, and now run off, and I'm gonna take down this hook, so you don't get hooked on it again. Another person is down, and we got only two generators done, so after doing the next totem, I will jump on the generator. And while I'm working on this one, someone pops the other one. Good job, mate. Only two remains. Another person has been hooked, so I wanna go there and help. But while I'm going there, someone already saves him. So I'm gonna go and start working on the third totem. And then on fourth hook. Damn, I'm good. Before I realized, this person was hooked and unhooked in an instant. So let's go and find something to do. Oh, hey Claudette, what you got there? Oh, it's a nice flashlight. Can be useful. Now, this guy is down, but we still need to finish the final generator and get the killer to panic. So I'm gonna go upstairs, search the box, I will get something sweet and then go on the generator. And after that, we'll go for the saves. Well, this guy is almost dead and he's far, far away, so if I'm gonna save him, I need to do it now, because he doesn't have any more time. And this is what people need to realize. Even it looks like a one-fourth of the bar, it's very, very little, so you need to make the save and go for it now. While I'm going for the save, Claudette probably finishes the last generator and the exit gates are um, powered. Yeah. Yeah. In the last yeah. second, Jake. In the last oh. second. And I also packed it up. But I still got the save. And this is the part where I will need to be saved. Let's get the hell out of here. He misses, that's good. And I really need to look behind me. Yeah, he stopped chasing me, so I can go and find someone to wake me up. Meanwhile, there's a treat. I find the... Wait for it, hatch. Here it is. So I know where it is. I need to look where exactly I found it. Because I have the toolbox, I will try to fail the skill check on the hook. And I did, and it didn't wake me up. So it's a total waste of time. Don't ever do that. The gate is being opened, Freddy runs in front of me, and I'm gonna try to hide, go around, and maybe go for the exit. It's still not open, so I need to open it. And while I'm on the gate, 
here he comes didn't hit me I don't know why Maybe he was trying to catch me to grab me now he hits me I need to run off I still got dead heart so I might use that and I'm done now I'm the one in need of the saving so I hang around for a bit and guess what Jake is coming for the save. Thanks, mate. Now let's run away. I know, Claudette, it's this way. I still got my dead heart. But I won't need it. And we're off. So I need to go and spectate what happened to my buddies. And it seems like they're not doing okay. And the Jakes escapes in the last possible second. Now, we are being called losers by the killer, but I want to thank the killer for not camping, and I feel like it was a good game. This next one is with the worst killer I could get. It's the fucking doctor. And I want to show you this one because I gave him a little runaround. So here he's chasing someone else, but I want to get involved and help him a little bit. So I'm gonna go and drop a bullet and then run off. I'm gonna go upstairs and hide. And here he comes. Let's go through the door, drop down, see where he goes. And he goes straight after me, I get a hit. And then I need to find a good place to play with him. So he wanna shock me. And I'm gonna try to avoid it as good as, as I can. Which isn't that um, <clears throat> difficult. Because you just need to um, change the direction you're going. And now I'm preparing to Death Hut. That's what I did it. And let's run around. Let's go here. He misses. Let's see where he wanna go. Again, he gets me down. As you'll see, that's not terrible. I will die eventually but I will waste his time a lot since everyone is far far away I will hang around for a bit try to unhook myself that didn't work and the chase begins now Everyone will tell you that it's extremely important to look where the killer is. Now he's in a shock mode so he cannot hit me. Here I go down again. Go straight on a hook but I still have time. The doctor is so good because he doesn't have to look. He just can use his shock therapy. Now Dwight unhooks me, he will heal me, and here we go again, slam him with the pallet. Like I said, evading the shock therapy isn't that difficult, you just need to turn when he unleashes it you well can do that every time but most in the time he will miss when he realizes that i'm not so easy to hit he goes to his punishment mode and give me a chase
Now, if you can waste time of the killer like this, you will give your teammates time to finish the generators. So, just run away for as long as you can. And he's been not doing so good. He finally hits me for the first time. And then I'm trying to dead hot. I still have it, so I still gonna run away for as long as I can. And that's where I dead hard it. Good choice. I run into a box, but that's fine. So let's run for a bit, and I'm done. That's my third and final hook, so I'm dead. But that isn't bad, because during the chase and when he took me to the hook, my teammates were able to finish two generators, so only one remaining. So I wasted a lot of his time and gave my teammates a fighting chance to escape. Good game. Well, this time, we gonna take a look at the fucking camper. I hate this kind of players. Anyways, I got my toolbox, so let's sabotage some hooks. I still don't know who's the killer, but as it will turn out, one of the worst. It's dead silent, no heartbeat, no lullabies. Sabotaging another hook seems like a good idea. And here he is, Michael fucking Myers. And he's fucking stuck in the heart, slashes me in the back. So this next part will be almost a minute and a half of a chase. It's a minute of a half of his time, so I wasted a lot of his time and the other survivors could finish the generators, so that's good. Enjoy. He wants me to jump over a pallet. That's not gonna happen. Not until I know I'm safe. Finally has enough and breaks the pallets, so I'm running off to another one. Second generator goes on. Now, I really don't know what happened there. Some sort of a lag. He just missed me. I'm not sure. Another miss and window will betray me. I'm going a hook. So I can chill for a while because he will stay very close. That's not camping yet. And finally I've been saved. Now here's an example why staying cool is beneficial. Because I'm healing up and guess what? He's gonna come here. But he's gonna just come kick the generator and he goes off. Apparently he saw someone and now chase after him. This guy's gonna bring him to me while I'm still staying cool. So fuck you survivor, you can go down. That kind of behavior isn't cool. You don't wanna show other survivors to the killer because they're not gonna fucking rescue you if you do. Now, I thought maybe he will bring her here, but no, so I'm gonna leave this hook for now.
and I can hear her being sliced, so that's how I know she's being camped. Now, she gave up, and I have a request. Survivors, do not give up if you are being camped, because as long as you hold on, you're giving the chance to other survivors to finish the generator and run away, even if they cannot do anything for you. And again, staying cool proves to be very beneficial, because if you do, you got very good chance that you, that you won't be spotted. Now, he's stalking someone, and for a second there, I thought it was me, but I realized he couldn't be stalking me, because I'm well hidden. So I got back on the generator, and someone goes down. And again, I can hear her being slashed, and I also can see him running around her, so I know she's being camped, I hope she will hold on, because that's, we cannot do anything for her right now. With the generator that progressed, I want to spook the killer with powering the gates. And it turns out someone finishes first. So now I'm gonna go and open the gate. Oh, and here's Bill. It's always the longest 20 seconds in the game. And as it turns out, he will come after me. Here he comes. Uh, see you too late, Mikey. Now, he leaves me alone, and I still want to go and waste his time. Maybe somehow we can save her. But unfortunately, her time's run out, so the only thing we can do is run away. Now I'm pointing at him, saying you're an asshole, and he thinks I'm showing him something? What a fucking idiot. Alright, thanks for watching guys, don't camp, stay cool, and see you next time. Yarkin out.